So today I'm bringing guys a brand new sports cards video. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down some cards that I believe are going to crash very, very soon. Now, before we get into that, I did want to say real quick, this week's giveaway, as you guys know, is an Anthony Edwards Prism Silver and a PSA 9. If you guys would like to enter, all you have to do is subscribe, like this video, and follow me on Instagram at It's Kanala Huja to stay tuned with the giveaway. Um, and then once you comment the word done, you will be entered once you've completed all three steps. Make sure you don't skip a step because if you don't follow on Instagram you will not be able to know who the winner is um, so definitely go ahead and do that and follow up um, but without further ado we're going to hop right into this video um, so a lot of you guys know that the recent National Treasures football did drop um, and there has been some very very strong sales already any single new product that releases, there are a lot of strong sales. Um, there's a lot of hype around National Treasures right now, especially for certain players who did not have National Treasures cards before. Um, of course, Brock Purdy is at the top of that list as someone who is getting a lot of hype being a starting quarterback, likely um, on the 49ers. Um, so his National Treasures out of 25 Stars and Stripes recently just sold for $11,100. And this sale, honestly, is what prompted me to make this video because this is just absurd. Um, if you look at, for example, a Justin Herbert 2020 National Treasures, um, I believe his out of 20 recently sold for around 12000 Um, And this is his out of 20, three color patch, um, 8.5. Um, so it is just absurd um, the amount that... Brock Purdy and these other young quarterbacks are fetching right now and I believe it is a very important time to sell and get rid of some of those cards because a lot of people are going to be losing a lot of money um, if Brock Purdy does not pan out and it's not only him um, because of course he might be honestly one of the safer options because he has such a great team around him and he you know won 10 straight games last season but even third string quarterbacks um, such as Malik Willis their cards are going for some serious money as well. Um, pretty much any card from this drop has been going for some serious money. Um, if we look at Malik Willis, I believe some of his out of 99 cards already have bids over $1,000 with five days left for an out of 99 National Treasures rookie card. And keep in mind, this is a third string quarterback. Um, if we want to look at what a Peyton Manning, um, you know, Topps Chrome rookie card goes for, you know, you will see that these numbers simply do not make sense. Um, a Peyton Manning Pop 1000 Topps Chrome rookie card in a PSA 10 um, after being one of the best quarterbacks of all time is a 660 $660 card. Um, and you already have bids at pretty much double that with five days left on a third string quarterback. Um, you know, so a lot of these prices just are not making any sense in my mind. Um, I know there's a lot of short term opportunity. If Malik Willis does get the starting job, this card will automatically be a five, six thousand dollar card. I definitely understand that, um, but the risk that you're taking to buy in at these prices, I think is far too great for the reward. Um, I just think, you know, the risk is so high right now, you're buying in so high that chances are, you know, it is not going to work out, um, and even if you look at some other guys such as Kenny Pickett um, or, you know, a lot of other players from this draft, you're going to see that current prices just are not making sense at all, um, you know, given what these players have accomplished, and just the hype being so high. Um, and also, a lot of these cards have not been pulled. So out of the 99, you know, m m whoever it is, Malik Willis, Brock Purdy, Kenny Pickett, um, most of their cards have not been pulled yet. So there's only three or four on the market right now for some of these players. Um, and a lot more are being pulled right now. So just the, the supply is going to increase so much over these next, like, four to five weeks as breakers open these boxes um, and just people open up the boxes, you're going to see the supply go up so much. And if supply goes up 5x over these next four to five weeks, then 
unless demand goes up by 5x2, you're going to see the prices come back down to earth. Um, we saw it with a lot of other products, um, such as, you know, even Brock Purdy's Prisms. Um, when they first dropped, they were sitting very, very high, and they've come back down to earth because people have been pulling them. Um, so I would highly suggest that you guys stay patient with this new drop. Um, I would definitely be on the sidelines for a little bit unless you have an immediate buyer who can buy it right away from you. It is probably not going to be worth it, um, you know, to go ahead and buy into these cards right now, um, especially for National Treasures. We just see the hype way too high. You know, if you give it some time, when breakers continue to pull these cards, more cards hit the market, prices come back down to earth, hype dies down a little bit, you're going to see a lot better deals, and then maybe you can go in, and if you actually believe in Brock Purdy, buy into his cards. But paying $11,000 for an out of 25, when that's pretty much the price of Justin Herbert's out of 25, it is simply not going to pay off. And even if Purdy is the next Herbert, which is super unlikely, um, you know, you're still not going to see an increase on your money because you bought in way too high. Um, so I'd highly suggest staying patient. I really wanted to make this video because I'm seeing so many people getting burned, um, you know, just buying into these cards that I pretty much know unless they turn out to be, you know, one of the best quarterbacks, you know, over the last three, four years, you're not going to see an increase in price. Um, so, I would just suggest that people stay patient um, and wait for these cards to be pulled, wait for prices to come back down to earth, and then figure out what a real strategy is because buying into the hype is never really going to work out. Um, you know, it, it takes a lot of dominoes to fall in your way just for you to break even. Um, so we're already seeing some insane bids. You guys see nine days left. A Kenny Pickett one of one Nike swoosh is already at 12.5K, uh, which is just absolutely absurd. Um, you know, and who knows where that's going to end. This is nine days left. It likely is going to end at 25,000 plus, which simply doesn't make sense for Kenny Pickett yet. Um, but... I simply wanted to make this video to share it with you guys. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you enjoyed, go ahead, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram to stay tuned with the giveaway. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'm out. Peace.